Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we did the hardest moon in the entire game. Not even, not even gonna change my mind on that. It is definitely the hardest. And now, we're gonna get a few more power moons in uh, this kingdom before moving on, probably. Starting off, this time challenge here is, um... Fairly interesting because you have to get to this power moon by swimming and you can't capture a fish. Let's grab that. There we go. Very nice. And that's the second time of challenge. I don't know if we've done the first one or where the first one is because I don't really remember things all the time. Oh my goodness. Just get away from those things. I don't like these things. They're not really fun, especially when they're. Unavoidable. Get some air, 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 get some air. Okay, there we go. Um, but over here, though, has some more of them that we're gonna have to deal with. So let's go down here, and there's three gl glowing points that we need to ground pound on, so that's the first one. That's the second one. And this is the third one. And now we need to go to the center, and then ground pound again, for a power moon. And that gets rid of them as well. The northern reaches. There's also a pole next to the lighthouse to get up there quickly now. Um, I feel like I have to go back this way, because I think over this way, underneath this bit here, has a power moon for me. That glowing spot there. What's what happened to the music? It just seems to go away if you get too far out. Get that. And then get rid of those guys. Grab that, and then we go. Under a dangerous ceiling. Yup. Um, and if I can get a cheap sheep, that'd be good, because I need to check out a few spots for things. Okay, good. Let's go over this way. Because I feel like I didn't get everything that's over here. Uh, starting off, there's this little hole there. I guess... Hopefully there's nothing else around here that I need to do. Let's go down in this hole. It's very difficult to... or very easy to miss. Uh, but we need to ground pound on this switch here. And we have an underground... or underwater... pixel section, which we need to go through quickly because... that switch doesn't last forever. We need to get to this power moon. There we go. That's the, that's the first time a challenge. Okay. Interesting. But anyway, that's everything down here. So let's just hop on out again. I don't think there's anything else down here, actually. Which is surprising. So let's head out of this hole again. Which means I lost my cheap cheap, unfortunately. Um, they'll probably... Be... Yeah, there's one right here that I can grab. So let's take that one. Let's take a look around here a little bit more. I feel like there's another few purple coins at the very least. I've got those ones. There's a stack of coins over here that I can grab. I'm missing nine purple coins, so I'm very close to those being all collected. Did I get the ones over here? Looks like I got all, all the ones along the edge up here, hopefully. As long as I'm not wrong. Um... Oh, did I go through that hole? Yes, I did. Not that you really need to. There's also another 8-bit section over here that we can do, so let's go ahead and do that. Going down one of these pixel pipes. And there's some purple coins there that I need to get as well, so if I can do that, that'd be great. I actually need one of these Cooper Troopers to actually get that shell to break those blocks, so that's good. Now if I can get through there, that'd be great. I can jump a little bit while I'm underneath something and crouched to get out of there. So let's go over this way. I'm gonna try and be a little bit careful here. Grab those three. This is actually really cool that this is on the ground for this pixel section. Ow! Pain. Also, I believe if I can get that to hit that block there, 
I can also crouch into here for a hidden pixel moon. Cool. Any of these um, other pixel pipes here just take you out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but first, while we're down here, I also want to hit these invisible blocks here because that means we can get up there once we go round. Also, can I just quickly... I don't need to do this, but I want to do that anyway. Just so I'm getting those coins out of that block, except I didn't get any more than that. I guess that's fine then. Um, let's go to the other pixel pipe that we haven't gone into now. That we've got those invisible blocks hit. Right in there. Oh, actually, this isn't where I'm meant to be, but anyway. There's some coins here that we can grab, so... break everything. Let's head back out. So we need to actually go back to the pipe that we went through before. Since that's that connects back to everything else. Especially that pixel moon that we haven't got yet, so let's just jump down here, dodging everything, mostly. And then go across here. If you don't hit those blocks, you will have to go around again. So you have to hit those blocks, so anyway. That's all that done. Uh, we're still missing six purple coins, which is still pretty good at this point. Can I grab this cheap, cheap? Thank you. Uh, we can also hit that. Nothing. Just, just regular coins. There's some purple coins over there that I haven't got, so let's go grab those. So many things just all over the place. And I just have three more purple coins left. It's just a heart. I'm gonna check over here on the edge for purple coins, if possible. Doesn't look like it, actually. Oh, that was just where the seed was sitting, wasn't it? Um, it could be in the other secret level I haven't done yet. Also, I believe, just quickly, if I go in here and ground pound, no? Am I wrong? Am I completely wrong? Oh, wow, I'm completely wrong. That's cool. But anyway, let's go up this way. Because up here... There's a few things, I believe. Like this lizard glider thing. That guy is obsessed with seeing someone fly from here to the glass palace. Everybody likes different stuff, I guess. Well, I can make his dreams a reality, so let's just do that. I could go further than that, but I guess I'm just gonna... Go over to him. You did it! Your flight was truly an amazing sight to behold. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Lighthouse Leaper. And now let's go somewhere else. Uh, I think... Oh, I should probably do the other thing first. So, let's take this squid over to this hole over here. And I think this is actually where the last purple coins are as well, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't. There's a ride the jet stream there, and also a pixel uh, cat Mario over here that I can get. I think I can also spray him? Yeah, I can. Cool. Okay, this was not where the purple coins are, and also that's not a secret area. I thought that was a secret area, but apparently not. So where am I forgetting something? I'm forgetting something somewhere. Three purple coins. Interesting. It's not over here, is it? I feel like if it was anywhere, it'd be over here, but I don't... I'm not entirely certain on, on that. Um... Maybe I should check the talker to. Maybe. I also feel like there might be something on the very edge of the map somewhere that I just haven't done yet. Or maybe I have. This is a problem. Uh, I could talk to the talker to and see if it has any hints. Like, it, if a power moon is with some purple coins, then I'll be able to find them. But I'm not entirely sure if it will be. Well, anyway, let's 
figure out where the talker to is, is, which is not over here. So I don't know why I stopped over here. Okay, I can still think of a few moons. Oh, scary, scary brock, brock. Go over that. Since it doesn't like that. What is the secret? A relaxing dance. Yeah, I know that one. I was going to get that in a minute. Secret. A hint art thing. And that's it. Okay, so those are the last two. So the purple coins are just on their own somewhere. Cool. Good to know, I think. Oh dear. Where? 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 Are they in the middle somewhere? Oh, so those coin rings just appeared out of nowhere. Are they in the middle of nowhere? Or are they in a secret hole? Are they in a secret hole? I've... I know there's a few secret holes around, I'm pretty sure. But do I remember where the secret holes are? Possibly not. There's the one back here that I already did. And that's the only one that I can think of, so maybe it's the only one. I'm missing three purple coins. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. I already got that. I already went down there. I already went down there. Pretty sure I got everything there. This is cause for alarm. This is cause for alarm. Uh, what isn't cause for alarm? Actually, this might be where the purple coins are. If we go in one of these fountains, it takes us up to the top part of here, which is cool. Um, if I go down here, there's nothing up there, but there is a little something here for us, which is interesting. And then also, no, this is not where the purple coins are. We have a little teleportation here to another level. The Lake Kingdom. Get that power moon there. And now we can actually go back through a few levels. Getting a few things that we haven't got right now. So that's, um, I guess I can just swim down. There's the, um, the plant thing down here that I don't think I ever checked. Which is interesting. So let's do that. I only came through here once, I'm pretty sure. Oh, please grab. Thank you. Um, is there an easy warp up there? Yes, there is. Uh, well, let's go back through a few levels because I think we have some hint art that actually connects to things we can do. So let's go into here. And let's head on over, please, to the, what's it called? The Metro Kingdom through the paintings. This is just so I don't deposit moons because I don't want to, I don't want to deposit moons because it means I can have more moons to deposit later. Kind of? I don't know. Also, I kind of wish it only showed the teleportation uh, warp video animation thing once. I also didn't get everything in this level last time, so I could stick around a little bit more. Uh, but we need to go over to here. Because we have that uh, keep sign that we had. Let me just quickly look at that and make sure I haven't got any other hint art that I need to worry about. Uh, I do have actually... I do actually have some other hint art I can do. So we've got this one. Which has probably been on the screen for a little bit. We've also got... This one that we can do. I'm pretty sure that's one we haven't done yet, so I'll, I'll check on that. But anyway, we've got this... Keep clear sign here, so obviously this is where we need to ground pound. Now we have to head back a few levels. Uh, although, I want, to, I want to kind of get a few more things here. Kind of. I'm so tempted right now. Uh, but I want to move on, but I've already taken a while. So let's stay. Let's stick around just a little bit. 
We can capture this taxi and then control it to get warped to another area. Which is a tank area, so let's grab one of these tanks because we only get them in a few places in the game, so why not? We can destroy everything in sight, which is nice. Very satisfying. Destroy all these taxis, which is kind of rude to the people, but also they're just ruined taxis anyway. Didn't get him. That's fine. We also have to collect these um, moon pieces. If I can. I don't think I did this before. I feel like I might have, but anyway. I, I'm just confusing it with my other playthrough that I did recently. Somewhat recently. Go to you, please. You can also collide bullets in the air, I'm pretty sure. Collide shots. Okay, let's keep going. And then, right over here is the last one. Moon's down there. Uh, but we're not done yet, so let's actually shoot the ground here because there's actually invisible blocks here that we can take care of. And use as a platform across. I don't think we need to do that technically, but we can also just do it, so let's break that over there. Actually, we did because this is where the moon spawns. So there we go. Ah, it's right in my face. And there we go. Sharpshooting under siege. Moon shards under siege. And now we can see the worst driving of all time. Look at this. How did that turn work? I don't know. I just know that it did somehow. Anyway, let's head on up this way. There's some more purple coins for us to collect. And we can go up even further. Oh my goodness, camera. <laughs> camera changing. Panic. For some more purple coins up here. Now, have I got everything up here? How did I miss those purple coins? I don't know. I did though. Oh, and we also have to catch this rabbit, which is flying. Where'd it go? Magic rabbit. <laughs> Ma magic rabbit. Also, this is just a flag up here that I never got. There's just so many things I didn't do, apparently. Where'd the... Oh, it's over there still. Of course. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, he's just going to jump back straight away. That's so rude. Please land directly on him. Nope. Please. Cappy, please. Thank you. Got him. And grab this. Caught hopping on a building. Might go get these over here as well. I must have all of the coins in this, purple coins in this level, which is good. Just five more. Three more, once I get these two. I don't know how I miss some of these coins sometimes, but anyway. I think I actually saw the last three over there. So that's actually amazing. That's actually incredible. So we can go get those, and I- did I not get that plant down here? I didn't! What? What is wrong with me? What? What? <laughs> what have I become? You know? Just- oh dear, I didn't mean to go into first person. Uh, let's go up here, please. Is this good? This is- is this a good? This is a good. This is a very good, actually. <gasps> oh wow, how did that work? I don't know. But anyway, that's all the purple coins this level. I might- go to the shop then, to check that out, uh, and then check a few more things, starting off with this little house here, which is a very cool room because it's got the pixel section and the unpixel section with the same block type, and also these note collections. Take note, so it's very cool. I like this a lot, this combination of everything. Let's grab the rest of these quickly with Cappy by shaking the controller, and it's easy. Wonderful. So I'm gonna have to buy everything from the purple coins part of the shop, and also... 
And also, probably talk with Torkatu to see if there's any moons that I can get to finish up here. Just a little bit more. Uh, shop. Right. This way. Just gonna go straight in. <laughs> the original crazy cap store. Cappy cap store. Okay, we get a Mario Maker outfit as well, which I want to put on. And I guess an America flag outfit. Maybe later. All the stickers and uh, souvenirs. Very nice. I was a little bit sad that I didn't get this the first run through, so I'm glad I had a chance, an opportunity to come back and get this level cleaned up. <laughs> this is the, the Mario in the camera. Anyway, um, we need to go to the opposite side of town now, so let's do that. Which is fairly easy since of all these little orange pegs are everywhere. But if we talk to this guy with the construction hat on over here, Right now, nobody gets in here but the building inspector. Ah, I see the, your uniform, by your uniform, that you're the inspector I was waiting for. And we get a secret area. Obviously no purple coins in here because otherwise you couldn't get in. That's just how it is. If you need purple coins to get into an area, it means there's no purple coins in there. Just a basic rule of game design. Okay, get past these fuzzies. Oh, it was a coins. Of course it was coins. I should have known. I really should have. Also, that's giving me a lot of coins, so I'm not really complaining. I shouldn't be complaining at all. Grab those. No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. But what I do want to do is actually go up here and then get out of my capture, because down here is a glowing box with a moon in it. That's the actual secret moon in this level. Off the beaten wire. Just a few more, uh, more things around here that we can do. This is optional over this way, but I'm gonna look at it anyway. Gives us some coins. Just throw that cap into that, and it shoots them around, giving us coins. Very nice. Let's head back. And now, we have a bit of a maze over here where we have to avoid the fuzzies, but also we need to get uh, the moon pieces. Very nice. That's probably the best I've done that section ever, which is surprising. I usually get hit by something at least once. But there we go, and let's grab this moon. Rewiring the neighborhood. I'm so sad that that ground pound didn't make me go through the pipe quickly. That's why I do it, and it didn't let me. So sad. Anyway, let's head back to the beginning of the level so I can talk to talk to to see what moons I'm missing in this level, since I've got most of them now. What is the secret? Bench friends. That one's a good one. Metro Kingdom Art, which is probably the Lake Kingdom one. And Time of Challenge 1? Where's Time of Challenge 1? How have I missed that? Like, what? Surely. I actually think I know where it is, so I'm gonna have to do that. Also, if we go over here and listen to this guy, boy, I tell ya, this city. I'm just gonna sit next to him. After a bit. Just a few more seconds, maybe? Please, Mario? There we go. You're not from around here, are you? You're the first person to ever just sit down next to me. It's a lonely city. Thanks for reaching out. Take this for your trouble. And we get a power moon. Bench friends. It's a wholesome. Wholesome moon. Thanks, pal. Wholesome moon. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the time of challenge that it was referring to. 
Yep, also the, 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 the flower bird is back on that thing up there. Because apparently that's just how it's going to be. But anyway, we have some tilting platforms that we need to be... We need to control the best as we can. Um... Oh, is that a... That's a cool fireball thing. Just going to quickly head on up here. Just going to double check... Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on. That was... I'm sure that was the thing. That was the... The bud still. But then it... That's so weird. That looked definitely like the, the bud. Also, if we go over here and look at the reflection on this building... It's... Um... <laughs> Interesting, because down there is the front of the building, and then, oh my goodness, these windows are, the reflection on those windows is just so strange, but anyway. That's all the moons this level, so let's head back through the paintings. This may take a bit. Also, I should have possibly gone to the Wooded Kingdom to get uh, some some more moons there, since I still haven't got the rest of those either. This is just how teleporting between these levels is. It's useful if you want to um, get cool stuff to happen, but still, it's a long way to go. So there we go. Now I still have the three purple coins in this level to get, don't I? I almost forgot about those. Um, and I still don't know where exactly they are. <laughs> it looks like we've got enough power moons. Cappy, don't distract me while I'm trying to find purple coins. Don't do it. Um, where, oh where, purple coin. Where, where purple coin? Where is it? I know, I should know where it is. Where they are. Ah, oh, I'm so braining. My brain. My brain. Oh, where are these purple coins? Are they down here? No. Doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, let's grab a cheap cheap though. Please. Thank you. Are they over by this tunnel? Are they down here somewhere that I missed? I, if, if I missed them down here, that would make sense because I didn't have a, a huge look at the stuff that's down here. Let me go down a little bit more. It doesn't look like it. So maybe it's just over this way somewhere? Maybe? It's not in the tunnel. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got the purple coins in the secret areas, probably. None here, by the looks of it. Is there a secret tunnel here that I didn't do things? I'm so confused. That's fine. I'll actually... I think... Oh, are they in one of these, um... Things here? Or did I already get those? It's like a... The, the tide pools, right? I'm pretty sure. There's somewhere there's supposed to be some by the tide pools. I don't see. I don't see them. Hang on. I'm gonna do this a little bit. Although I feel like they're gonna just be hidden. They're like everything could be hidden from these for some reason. Uh, not there. 
that coral looked like a piece of purple coin. Oh, this is concerning. Oh, they're not up there, are they? They're not in the tunnel. Would have seen them. They're being very sneaky. Ah, uh, I got those ones up there. Got those ones there. This is this is cause for alarm. How did it, did I? I'm pretty sure I got those ones all the way back at the very start area. And by start area, I mean kind of start area, not really a start area. The start area. Um, I feel like I should know where these are. My brain just doesn't want to allow me to find these right now. I could do... I could just uh, skip over them for now, but I really don't want to. I really want to find them. I'm sure I got them... The ones that went in here. Were there any in here? I don't remember. I'm just going to quickly go through again. Although I doubt there are any here. If, if, I, if there were any here, I would have probably seen them and collected them already. Oh, actually? Maybe? I should have stopped. I should have stopped. Just gonna play it safe a little bit. Follow these things. Yeah, I feel like there could be some in here, and they could be just difficult to see because of the color. Being purple on purple. Oh, those things get in the way, so you can't get to the very end of this, but that's okay. Um... No, there are no purple coins in this area, which is surprising, actually. Usually there's at least some purple coins in a secret area. But I guess not this one. That's fine. Ah, uh, I might just have to skip over them for now, which is sad. I'm sure I got the ones up there. Yep. This is sad. It's a sad day for all of us. Well, okay then, I'm going to quickly head over to the purple coin shop then. And if I just happen to find the purple coins I'm missing along the way, that'd be amazing. But it's doubtful. So here we go. And let's buy that resort outfit that was mentioned. Also, I have to wait for the thing to go away. This is fine. Okay, let's buy the resort outfit. And also a sailor outfit. I guess. I'll get most of the things here, but not all of them. Maybe later. I don't know why I can't remember where the last few purple coins are in this level. I'm thinking deeply. Maybe that's a maybe that's a hint to myself. It's somewhere deep underwater. I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, we need to get over to the place now. Back at the <gasps> Pog Pog. Oh, I just left the shop. I just left the shop. Quick, quick, quick. I'm surprised I didn't get those ones when I went past the first time. Oh well. Well, we did it now. <laughs> nice. Grab that, please. Let's head on over... Oh, I didn't get the moon in the... The hint up moon in the Lake Kingdom like I was planning to. That's fine, I can still go back. And there'll be reasons to go back in other ways as well, so... It's all taken care of. I don't even need to worry about it. To fully enjoy the pleasures of uh, Bublane, you must wear clothes you can en uh, entirely relax in. You have achieved the perfect ensemble for relaxation. Please enjoy yourself within. Relax and enjoy. 
Care to dance? Cappy has no idea how to feel about this. A relaxing dance. And that should be everything in this kingdom for now. So, let's head on over to the Odyssey. Um, but that's also probably it for this episode, so... Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.